briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1928, the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit heard the case of Wood v. National City Bank, which revolved around the issue of whether innocent stockholders could be held responsible for the wrongful actions of a corporation's directors. The case began when a plaintiff accused several stockholder defendants of acting improperly by paying dividends when the company was insolvent, ultimately harming the company's creditors. The defendants denied the claim's legality, and the court ultimately found that although the claim was connected to the insolvency issue, it needed more clarity. The court rejected dismissing the case altogether and suggested using Rule 20 to refine the statement. The court held that the plaintiff's bill contained a sufficient allegation of insolvency, but required further clarification. They advised the plaintiff to provide a clearer statement of their case and allowed for a possible second amendment. The plaintiff would then have the opportunity to allege fraudulent dividend payments and the existence of creditors at both the time of the dividend payment and when the receiver was appointed. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class behind.